Athlete of the Month, Nicholas Titus. Nick. Nick's good. Oh, Nick. Sorry. Sorry. This is what my mom calls me. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to be your mom. No. No. <laughs> or my, math, my wife, if she's really mad at me. Uh oh. Yeah. Yes, I've heard that before. Well, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm Brayden, but I go by Brayden, but mom and my wife will say Brayden Ray, which is my middle yeah. name. When I hear that middle name, I know I'm in trouble. I and shouldn't. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. How are you today, sir? Good. Yeah? Just did the uh, 9.30 class, huh? How yeah. was it? It was good. Yeah. It was good after the uh, 21.3 and 4. Yes, which we did last night. How are you feeling after that? My legs are jello. Uh, yeah. They're, they're a lot better after about 100 air squats. So. Oh, 100 air squats today. Yeah, so a bunch of, a bunch of front squats and thrusters yesterday and more air squats yeah, today. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I put that programming in. Uh, how's your hands? Uh, not bad, actually. I thought, yeah. I thought it'd be worse, but okay. it wasn't that bad. But Very I, good. The muscle ups are cute, so. No, I just had a break. Uh, the muscle ups were tough. Hey, but you, you beat your goal though. You said you wanted to get one. He wanted to get 165 uh -huh. on the complex, and you got 185, mm -hmm. huh? Very good. So good. Yeah, I think that's going to be a competitive score. I think um, people definitely underestimated that complex um, I saw after. Some were stronger than me. Who were doing 165. Uh -huh. So that's what I was shooting for. Yeah. And then once I put 165 up, it was. It felt really good. So that's good. Yeah. yeah it's it's that's kind of a testament to your recovery. Um, if you can do a metcon and then go into a lift and hit pretty close to your max, you know that aerobic system is is kicking in and it's it's being developed through the CrossFit workouts and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, Nick. So let's start off with a little background. Just sure. tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so. I guess I was born and raised in Dallas and ended up, moved around a lot when I was young. Okay. But ended up back in Dallas after college and uh, been here for, I don't know, 15 years, I guess. Okay. Um, and worked for Raising Canes. Nice. So that's my calorie supplier. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, I'm an area manager for them. Honestly, it was one of our members, Andre, who got me here first. He was asked me to come for like two years. Mm -hmm. Finally came and uh, and kind of kind of got hooked. Nice. So, so I didn't know Andre was here before you. He was. Yeah. Um, he. So Andre opens restaurants. Uh huh. He's on the team that opens restaurants, and then he was opening restaurants in my area. Okay. So he was. We became pretty good friends, and he was asking me to come to to Strong. Sure. Years ago, three years ago, I guess I started coming in 2018. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, and I kind of got hooked, and yeah, uh, I've been here ever since. And, um, it's been really good. I yeah. think it makes you regret all the years you didn't take care of yourself. Right, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy how that works out. Yeah. So um, you were at the old place then, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so you were, I mean, he was here before me. You, he should be interviewing me. That's well, the other maybe, way around. Maybe not. <laughs> um, so where'd you go to college at? Oklahoma State. Okay, so Dallas, Oklahoma State, how'd you like that? It was good. It was good. Yeah. Well, I, we were living in Oklahoma. In high school, I, went to, I was in Oklahoma. Okay. So we moved around a fair amount. And then okay. Settled down in a small town in Oklahoma. I went to Oklahoma State and then got recruited at school for, for a job. Okay. Um, so, yeah, Oklahoma, I mean, it was, it was a good, I just, you know, you want something bigger and better. So sure. It's the next kind of biggest place. Sure. Having been raised here, it was pretty familiar. I had family here and all that. Right. So, so that you said you got recruited there. So, did you work, actually work there right out of college? No, I got recruited by a recruiter for uh, another restaurant company. Oh, okay. Uh, it works at that company for seven years and then ended up with Raising Cane's um, and I guess I've been ever since about 14, 15 years. Yeah. Sure. So did, was it a business degree? It was a hotel restaurant degree. Interesting. So, yeah, they have a hotel restaurant program. Um, so it's probably like, I don't know, three or four really pretty big hotel restaurant programs in the United States and okay. they're one of the bigger colleges that has one. Right. Um, and I kind of fell into it. I, I went to school for biochemistry and realized I did not want to go to school that long because pre-med and all that was a really long, long process. I didn't enjoy the sciences as much as I think I'd need to. Sure. And I really like working in restaurants. That's what I did since I was 15 and okay. ended up, uh, the people I worked with in the store in Oklahoma said, hey, you should, if you're really interested, you should transfer to the HRED program. And so that's what I did. Uh -huh. But, um, and yeah, and it kind of just stuck with me. It's something I was good at and been pretty successful. So. Nice. I, I mean, I didn't even know they had those programs at all. That's like really cool. It's something, yeah. something different, you know, and it's, yeah. I like it because it's very specific. Yeah. Um, I feel like the degrees now, like at least mine, it was so broad that 
gives you a base knowledge, but it really doesn't prepare you for like your specific job entity yeah. you're going to do. So that's that's Sometimes really you don't cool. know what you're going to get into. I think, that's true. Too. That's yeah. true. So that's so kind many of those you, you kind of kind of can't really. Hotel right. restaurant is very specific, but you learn a lot about hotels, and I've never worked in one. Okay. So okay. Um, I guess you could, but I, it's just very different than sure. restaurants. So um, yeah, I, mean, I think it was it was good. You know, in the restaurant industry, you don't have to get a degree. It's just it does open some doors a little bit, but not, sure. not a ton. Not okay. like other professions. There's plenty of people you know, raising canes and elsewhere that did not get a degree and been very, very successful. Sure, so. sure. Only a matter of time before yeah. that changes. So the real question is, why didn't you bring us raising canes last night after 21.34? I should have. I should have. I don't keep it in my pocket, but um, it's, uh, it's <laughs> in also, my pocket. Yeah, it's also uh, chicken, yeah. chicken nugget. Anybody? Chicken yeah. finger? After not, the... not a good look. You know, people don't like that. <laughs> yeah. at, chicken nugget at a CrossFit gym. Yeah, yeah. that's funny. No, it was, uh, I also don't eat it as much as I used to. It's still really good, but um, it's not really, uh, in moderation. It's great. In a moderation, yeah. absolutely. Anything in moderation is good. That's yeah, right. that's what we like to preach here. Uh, so you're married, correct? Yeah. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. I've been uh, married to my wife, Erica, for uh, three years in October. And, nice. I've uh, been together for about 10. Wow, okay. We dated a long time. I uh, have two stepchildren who are uh, 14 and 17. Wow. Uh, Timothy and Hannah, um, and uh, yeah, so we it's been, it's been really kind of got thrown into being a father slash stepfather role from the beginning. Wow. We started dating when she obviously already had kids. And, sure. Um, but yeah, that's the family. And, right. Is uh, Timothy the older one? He's the younger one. He's the younger one. So Hannah is the 14-year-old. Hannah's 17. He's 14. Oh, she's he, 17. Yeah, she's the older one. Oh, he's the younger. 17 and 14. Yes. Wow. Okay. So I guess... When you guys got together, she was seven. Yeah. She was seven, right? Uh, yeah, like four and seven or four, four, five and eight. Yeah. Somewhere like that. So what, what was that like? Kind of like stepping into that role right yeah, off the bat. It's tough because it, it, they spend half their time with their father. And so it's, sure. uh, I always try to respect that because they're, they're not my kids, so to speak. But, yeah. you know, they are. You right. Know, at the same time, I'm married to my wife. But um, I always try to respect the, the relationships because I wanted him to have a good relationship with their father still. And, but at the same time, you know, when they're in the house, that you have to still kind of keep them in line. Right, you know? absolutely. Um, so it, it was good. It was, uh, it was a learning process, and it's still, yeah. still a learning process. Right. Um, you know, and so it's, it's, I guess you just figure it out as you go. Yeah, I think it. I'm a stepdad, too, and I feel like it's a really tough job because, like, like you said, you're, you try to find that balance of, of keeping them in line and, and being somewhat of a fa father figure, but also not stepping on dad's toes, you know, so that, that's kind of tough. Uh, so what's it like having two teenagers right now? <laughs> so, <laughs> Long pause. They're good kids. No, they really are. Uh, they're really good kids. And I would say I see a lot of myself in Timothy just because I was a, I was a boy and I, yeah. I, I, a lot of the same kind of silliness that he is. He's, he's, he likes attention and he's, he's a, a, you know, high energy and he's a fun kid, but he also has to get in trouble like I did. So, <laughs> whereas Hannah's a lot more, um, I, I would say, I want to say responsible. It's not, she is, but at the same time, she's just it's a lot easier to handle. A sure. It's going to be a little bit Oh yeah, louder. rowdy, so, rambunctious. As we know. Yep. Um, but they're yep. great kids. Um, you know, they, they have a great mother and she, you know, she, she does anything she can for them. So. Sure. Um, it's it's been a good experience, and, yeah. And I think that's that's really her goal and my goal in general is to give them the best upbringing they can, in considering the circumstances, and you just do the best you can with it, right? Um, and and I think they've got that. They they've got a good relationship with both sets of parents, and um, so they'll, they'll they'll be fine. That's great. Yeah, it's it's good when it's when it's the fighting stops and there's kind of balance on yeah. both sides. Absolutely. It's cordial. Yeah. I know we yeah. With, with father and stepmother as well pretty well so I think that helps I, mean, I don't think it was always that way for the last 10 years yeah we got a lot better in the last several years right in terms of making decisions together and all that right like kind of like you, you, know, you said it's, it's a little awkward yeah yeah, yeah. you're trying to do what's best for the kid you're not, you're not always going to agree and that's right. okay right um, but by and large I think we agree and, and you know it's, it's been pretty pretty good the last few years that's good yeah and, and two Christmases huh yeah, well, for the, they well, get two Christmas. They do. Two Christmas, uh, two birthdays, <laughs> two sweet sixteen. Double the presents. Yeah, That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. But the good news is, is we get to split a lot with. You know, their, sure. With their 
father and stepmother. So sure. It does work out pretty well. There you so. go. There you go. Uh, so what does Erica do? She works at a, a fine dining restaurant in Uptown called Parigi. Nice. And um, she manages Burton Services and everything. Okay. There. Very cool. About uh, seven years or so. Okay. Quite a long time. Um, and we, we met through friends. Yeah. Uh, just some friends we lived with, and then uh, just kind of fell into a relationship real fast, and uh, and kind of been inseparable since then. But we yeah. work in restaurants, so right. We've got weird schedules, and um, you know it's. Good. It's, uh, I think we can help each other out in that way a little bit. Absolutely. You know, people working with a, a spouse or significant other who is uh, in the restaurant industry, it can be kind of hard. Oh, yeah. The hours are all kind of odd and, and you're working a lot. So right. The fact that we both do it, it, it makes it pretty easy. Right. And I feel, yeah, I mean, I, I've, never, I've never worked in a restaurant. I feel like it's, it's all about customer service. So it's like all about making the customer happy, which takes a lot of out of you so I bet when you get home sometimes you're, you're a little drained spend all day well, all day talking I mean in my yeah. role I'm not really doing customers as much that's right you're more kind of management manage side yeah in restaurants, it's, uh, it's more setting them up for success to to do that job right and a lot of what we do at Raising Cane's is, is about taking care of the crew too right um, I think we're pretty proud of the way we handled the last year I think it's up here in a lot of restaurants yes. a lot of restaurants down last year um, which is always hard Right. Um, and uh, unfortunately, we, we increased our sales, I would say. There were wow. a lot of places to eat. Right. <laughs> when everything was shut down, you had, you had a lot of quick uh, service restaurants. If you had a drive through you were in luck. Right, um, right. With, but with sit-down restaurants shut, it was, uh, I think we were very fortunate as a company, and we also, we didn't lay anybody off. Like we, right. We kept us on and wanted to be there. And, right. Um, and so, you know, I think it, it was good. That's good. Yeah. I like yeah. it. That's we had very some good. pretty great. Uh, leaders in our in the company that kind of took us forward in uncharted territory. Right. So that's awesome. So I, I heard you say so she kind of like she was manager and then also like bartender so it's kind of does a little bit of everything. So she's kind of like our Casey, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Our, our Casey. He uh, Jack of all trades. Yes, Jack of all trades. He's kind of like a utility player. Um, he's our manager and then he does coaching and Fun stuff. and cafe. I mean, you name it. I made that connection. That's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. she can do everything there. So yeah, kind of thing. Awesome. So, you said you started at Strong back in 2018. Mm -hmm. um, so, did you do like any fitness or anything before then? Was it was this kind of like your first experience? I mean, I did wrestling in high school. Uh, okay. I was always working though. Really? You know, I've, I've always been. I've always had a really high metabolism, so I never. It's always pretty. I was skinny fat. Pretty you know? lean. Yeah. yeah, but I, I couldn't. I never really got really into lifting weights or working out. Sure. I had my little short stint to doing it, but yeah. I think what works for me with CrossFit is that I can come here, be told what we're doing, and go home. Okay. I don't have the passion and desire to create a workout plan for myself sure. and, and self-manage in that way. Sure. The, the convenience factor of showing up, getting told what I'm doing right and wrong, and getting a good workout in under an hour is, is, is very beneficial. Right. Um, you know, there are times that that maybe some of the other things, doing more isolation exercises and targeting certain areas is, is beneficial. I'm just not great. Sure. Um, so worked out. it's worked out really well for that. Mm -hmm. um, my wife, on the other hand, likes to go. She's doing it at the gym. And okay. She spends a lot more time deciding that. Right. I don't deal with that. I got yeah. Much, I'm making up decisions each and I, day. I remember you telling me that like when I, when I first started here. You're like, man, my, my work and my job is so hectic and crazy. Like When I come into the gym, I don't even want to think anymore. I just want to come in have somebody tell me what to do and then get out, yeah. which I respect that. That's, yeah. that's huge. And, and I didn't, when I became a coach, I didn't even think about that, like somebody wanting that. But now I realize that that's, you know, something that people do actually care for. Yeah, yeah. very cool. So been here about three years, hadn't really done much except wrestling before then. Um, how's your experience been as strong so far? It's been good. Um, obviously last year was, was, was unique for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we had great coaches before COVID kind of hit. We have really great coaches. I think what's, what hasn't really changed is uh, kind of what kind of Gail's philosophy got. Family, which yeah. is important because uh, most of us have families at home, but then you also coming here and seeing the same people you know each time. And right. People who truly care about you know, your progress, whether it's health, or lifting, or nutrition, or whatever, is good. It's beneficial because right. you right. don't, not everybody can get that everywhere. Right. Um, and so it's been really good. I've gotten a lot stronger, obviously. Um, and I think that 
it was just me and a chin, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Right. You know, there, there might be some progress, but I'm, I'm more, I'm, I can show up. Right. But I'm not going to create everything I need. And I think I get a lot a of variety of, here. Mm -hmm. This is another benefit of CrossFit, I think, in general. Is just, you get so much variety that you do tap into, into just about every muscle. You tap into cardio and endurance and all of that. And um, so it's been really good. I've always thought that the coaches here really care and they, they truly want people to do things the right way. You do hear some, you know, the horror stories out there of some boxes that have been mismanaged. Uh, in some places that coaches don't really necessarily know yet what, what they're doing. Right. And that can be dangerous. Yes. That can be dangerous at any gym. Absolutely. Um, and so but I think it's been really good here because from 2018 to now, everybody's always really cared about trying to do things right. Yes. Which is important. Yes. Um, keeps you from getting injured uh, and, and hopefully, you know, helps you continue with positive progress. Absolutely. The care, the care aspect is huge. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's one of our pillars. It's huge. So. You kind of came through and it's kind of like a story that we see a lot of where like you have somebody here and they're like beg a friend to come in, like come, come try out this class. So now that you've kind of been on the other side of that, mm -hmm. now that you're, you've been in it, like what do you tell somebody who maybe they, they were in your position to where mm -hmm. they didn't have a lot of fitness upbringing and they, they're looking maybe to start something and mm -hmm. start a change. So what do you tell that person to, to initiate their, their fitness and their goals? Yeah, I think you have to be smart about what day you come like you need to make sure that you know what you're getting into because sure. there are workouts that are great for a first time sure first week whatever it might be i i would say you don't go in you don't never go into it five days a week absolutely you're just gonna die absolutely um, go two days three days a week but yep. be smart about which workouts and the coaches can help you with that absolutely can look at the schedule and say hey this is some good days for you to do to right rest between and there's nothing that some workouts are more technical yes the nice part is everything's scalable but obviously depending on your you know your current fitness situation, scaled or not, you're going to get beat up in some workouts if you have never done any of the kind of work you do. Absolutely. So um, I, I had a friend come with me once on a Saturday a long time ago, and uh, it was just a hard workout. Yeah. And it was tough on him. Like, yeah. And he said he really enjoyed it, but um, like, I probably made the mistake of letting it was like a partner workout on a Saturday. Yeah. Some of those are really intense cardio. Sure. There's a lot of, a lot of work. In, and um, there's probably better workouts I could have brought him to for his first one. <laughs> You know, he, he was, he was uh, hurting afterwards, but he enjoyed it. And, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I would be smart with what day you come, talk to a coach. He can help you look at a, he'll just show up without knowing what you're getting into. Absolutely. Um, and then just, just really take your time. And there's no reason to go in five days. I mean, there's lots of weeks. I don't make five, six days. Because sure. You're, you're worn out. You're sore. You're worn tired. out. Yeah. You know, you have other, other stress factors too, just besides this. You work, kids, school, whatever exactly. it is. Yeah, absolutely. So last question for you, we always, we always say this, what are your favorite CrossFit movements? <laughs> uh, I'd probably say power None clean. of them. <laughs> yeah. Power clean is probably my favorite. Okay. I don't know why, I just really enjoy it. I yeah. Mean, it's, it's, it works a lot of different muscles and it builds a lot of core strength just by learning how to move that weight really gracefully. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, I would say that's probably my favorite. I like handstand push-ups. You go, so I have a, 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 a bad shoulder for it's probably congenital it's been my whole life and mm. there's certain shoulder movements i can do really really well mm -hmm. and some that i can't do that well mm. it's kind of weird um, interesting but i like a lot of the gymnastics moves too okay but some of them are harder on the shoulder sure absolutely well nick here um, we, we chose him for our strong athlete of the month just because you know, what, one thing we notice about Nick when he comes into class, when we, when we have new members, he's always introducing himself, and introducing himself and then talking with them, helping out new members. And it makes it easier on the coach as well when they're trying to lead a class. Um, and, and going back to the family thing, like we try to make family a big part here of Strong. So anytime you can get somebody new, like that new, new kid in school, you know, just having that, that person talk to you and be friendly really, really goes a long way. So thank you so much for that. And yeah, thank you for being you. All right, you got any questions? No, I'm good, man. Thank you good. guys for, uh, for, for choosing me. That was uh, it's kind of a, an honor to, to be chosen, and I you know, enjoy my time here a lot and what you guys do, so uh, look forward to many more years. Absolutely. So. We'll, we'll be right here along the way. All right. All right, that is it. Signing off. Peace.